Brittany Griner's release comes after months of tense negotiations during a low point in U.S.-Russian relations. Her initial arrest came one week before Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The efforts to secure her release resulted in the highest level diplomatic contact in months. A phone call between Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. We put forward, as you know, a substantial proposal uh, that Russia should engage with us on. Um, and what Foreign Minister Lavrov said this morning and said publicly is that they are prepared to engage through channels we've established to do just that and we'll be pursuing that. But Russia at the time turned down the reported offer of convicted arms dealer Victor Bout for Griner and Paul Whelan. Whelan is a former Marine and corporate security executive and has been jailed in Russia for nearly four years on espionage charges the U.S. says are meritless. The former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Bill Richardson, joined the back-channel negotiations along with his top deputy, Mickey Bergman. Richardson is a frequent envoy in hostage talks. Senior administration officials say the Russians rejected every proposal for Whelan's release, insisting on a one-for-one -one exchange. Sadly, for totally illegitimate reasons, Russia is treating Paul's case differently than Britney's. And while we have not yet succeeded in securing Paul's release, we are not giving up. In an interview Thursday by phone, Whelan emphasized the urgency for securing his release. I would say that if um, a message could go to President Biden that... Um, you know, this is a precarious situation that needs to be resolved quickly. Whelan's brother said it was right to make a deal that was possible instead of waiting for one that wouldn't happen. He says it's clear the U.S. didn't have the concessions the Russians wanted. The Kremlin is particularly focused on parity, on getting equal things. And so if they have labeled Paul as a spy, it may be that they're waiting until the U.S. government captures a spy and can and offer that as a, as, a, as a trade. That's the only thing I can imagine. So, um, but it's hard to know. And, and it's clear that whatever it is, the U.S. government doesn't currently have it. In a tweet, Secretary of State Blinken said, quote, we will not cease our efforts until Paul Whelan is back with his family too.